Welcome to another edition of SoCal Scents. I'm Jeff. This week's fragrance vlog, it's everything I had to do with fragrances this week, whether it was a first impression, what I wore, hot takes, any and all of that. If you haven't checked out the previous week's vlogs, definitely check that out. But this is what I wore throughout the past seven days. Some of it I love, some of it was just all right for me. Some of the new fragrances I tested out, I really like. Some of the new fragrances I tested out were just like, meh. So find out next. What's up guys, it's Monday. My fragrance of the day is Sauvage Eau de Toilette layered with artisan teal. It smells awesome. It's a 10 out of 10 layering combination. Highly suggest you trying it, especially because I don't recommend Sauvage by itself, but it's an amazing layering tool. It's Tuesday. My fragrance of the day is actually four fragrances. Testing out the most wanted Eau de Toilette for the second time. So that's on one hand. On the wrist of that same hand is um, watermelon shine uh, nice nice fresh watermelon fragrance it doesn't really smell like moonshine to me but it is a nice smelling fragrance then i have wulong cha by nishani on my wrist so far i think it's the best smelling nishani fragrance by far it's way better than hasavat and ani and then on my hand i have bountiful by um blue atlas not loving bountiful so far but i'm still gonna give it a chance uh, I really did like Atlantis though. Wulong Cha is very nice, super relaxing scent. So for those of you like relaxing scents, it is a very nice relaxing scent. Moonshine, good. Most Wanted EDT, really nice too. The Most Wanted Eau de Toilette, the newest from the Most Wanted line. This is a 2024 release and it's only currently available in Europe. So I had it shipped over from Europe to try it out for you guys. So this fragrance is creamy fresh. Now. What's unique about it is not so super unique, but what is unique about it is this is one of the first fragrances in a long time that to me, every like 30 to 60 minutes, it kind of changes throughout it. It clearly has a uh, top, base, and mid, so beginning, middle, and end, and it definitely changes throughout. But Creamy Fresh kind of lingers throughout the whole thing, which is super, super nice. It only has four notes listed. It is bergamot, lavender, liquor, and moss. So. Some people said they get a real boozy undertone to it. I personally do not get much booze from this one. I think any age can wear this one. And a lot of times with boozy scents, uh, you're looking at the 20 plus year old crowd and I think anyone can wear this one. To me, this is creamy fresh. The moss has doesn't really pop on me when I wear it. So it's not super earthy. I really, honestly, the bergamot into the lavender gives you that creaminess feel. And that's kind of what I get throughout the entire length of this fragrance. It is a nice addition to the Most Wanted line. To me, this is like 60% similar to the EDP concentration and absolutely nothing like the Parfum concentration. Um, if you're wondering which one the girls like between the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum, it's definitely the EDP that is the compliment beast of the Most Wanted line, but I will test this one with the ladies to see how they react to it. But think of this as the freshest of the line and it is a fresh, creamy fragrance. This is gonna be good for pretty much year round. Um, I can picture you wearing it in the summertime. I can actually picture you wearing it in the winter time, but I think it's ideal situation is gonna be um, spring, summer, and fall. Would I wear it on a hot summer day? Maybe not, but I definitely would probably wear it on cool summer night. But the most wanted EDP is also one that I wouldn't wear on a hot summer day, but I could totally wear on a hot summer night. This one's just a little bit fresher, so you could definitely get a little bit more that daytime use out of this one, but it smells great. So definitely check out the most wanted Eau de Toilette. Uh, it's brand, brand new, and it's not even in the US yet. So little first impression of this guy. It lasted for me about six and a half to seven hours before I couldn't smell it anymore, which is great for an EDT. And that's a, in the average range of fragrance, which is the normal range of fragrance. So spray your skin, spray your clothes, smell great. Boss Bottle Triumph Elixir, the newest from Hugo Boss. This is a fresh, strong fragrance, violet leaf, patchouli and vetiver. Wasn't really my cup of tea, didn't really, really like it. It's on the fresher side compared to last year's elixir, but eh. Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances are completely sold out at Macy's. There's some nice smelling fragrances among the bunch, but they definitely do not deserve the TikTok hype that they get, but you guys sold it out. They're nowhere in stock. Wednesday, my fragrance of the day is Allure Homme Sport. Oh, extreme. Bye Chanel. It's my most complimented fragrance, so I'm smelling really good today. It is Thursday and it's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. I am wearing uh, Lacoste Blanc Eau de Parfum. Similar vibe to the Eau de Toilette, super great 
fragrance is really nice. Highly recommend trying it out. So Sephora now puts all of their fragrances connected. So you can actually test your fragrances at Sephora now because they're making them steel proof. So stop stealing fragrances guys so we can actually test fragrances out. Friday, my fragrance of the day was Absolute Aventus. It smelled really good. It was a cold day in Los Angeles today. Rainy, Absolute Aventus rocked. Saturday, middle of the day, it's a cool, cloudy day out in Los Angeles. It's about to start raining, but I'm wearing Abercrombie and Fitch Authentic Night. It smells good. If you took Fierce and you mix it with Ultramel, it's kind of the vibe that this one gives off. Fantastic release. It's a chilly, rainy day in Los Angeles today. It's Sunday. My fragrance of the day is Atlantis by Blue Atlas. Haters gonna hate, but I think it smells really good. Um, peach, peach fragrance is my only really peach nectarine style fragrance that I have. It smells good. As I wrap up this week, I always like to talk about what my favorite fragrance that I wore this week was. And I wore the most wanted Eau de Toilette quite a bit this week. Um, there was even a couple times where I didn't film it where I was wearing it at night. Um, I also wore Toomey 19 Degrees last night and Anytime I wear that one, I have a good experience with it. So always love my love me some 19 degrees. But the most wanted Eau de Toilette was nice. So I still think the most wanted EDP is my favorite. The EDT is my second favorite, and the perfume is in third place for me. I just think you can wear the EDT more than any of the other ones, and that's already considering that the EDP is pretty versatile for me. Uh, the EDT is even more versatile in that aspect. Uh, it's really solid release. I think a lot of people are really, really gonna like the EDT version of this fragrance. But that wraps up this week. Let me know in the comments below what your fragrance of the week was or what you rotated through, what you've been wearing, how the weather's been like. I've had hot days this week and it's back to being cold this week. So let me know in the comments below what you've been wearing and hopefully you have a great rest of your week. Bye guys. This week's brand new video that was released this past Saturday was Spring Fragrances with my friend Jordan Kennedy. She tested out six different spring fragrances. Those fragrances were... Aqua Joe, Profundo. It also had Intelligent Hydrogen. It had Awaken Distilled by Toomey. Um, what else was in there? It had... Greenly by Parfums de Marly, um, Lacoste Blanc O Intense, and I am 1000% forgetting what the last fragrance was. So let me actually just tell you right now, it was Hugo Jeans Man. There we go. One of my favorite favorite fragrance releases from last year. Um, so. Greenly, Hugo Jeans Man, Lacoste Blanco Fresh, To Me Awaken Distilled, Aqua Joe Profundo EDP, and Intelligent Hydrogen. Check out this past week's video if you haven't seen it yet. And yeah, uh, and leave us some love.